we will discuss how to use Vivado ILA that means integrated logic analyzer and VIO hardware. First of all, we will see what is ILA basically. The customizable integrated logic analyzer, which means ILA, IP code is a logic analyzer that can be used to monitor the internal signals of a design. Because the ILA code is synchronous to the design being monitored, all design clock constants that are applied to your design are also applied to the components of the ILA code. So, if you like my uh, tutorials, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So, let's start uh, our today's project. First of all, create new project. We'll uh, give it a name ILA. And we'll we'll uh, skip two steps. We'll select board as we are using this Z turn board. We'll select this. Finish. Now we'll create block design we'll give it ILA sorry ILA underscore PD now we'll create here sync version system we'll add this see the clock configuration uh, a clock I'll give it 100 megahertz and now uh, run clock automation okay first of all we'll uh, add ILA block this integrated logic analyzer okay we'll add view virtual input output now to see the output uh, we are, we'll add one counter binary counter Now we'll add the clocks. Now we'll see the parameters. Now, as uh, I will change this monitor type as native instead of XI then in probe uh, in the one i'll make it 32 bits and uh, make it okay then in the vio uh, in the port 0 i'll change it to 32 bits and output ports so we left it as it is as we are only taking the uh, counter numbers in the input ports okay and in the configuration counter configuration we will make it 32 bits control will enable the clock enable so that in terms of clock it will change the counter values Okay, go. Ah. And this to uh, go. No, I can't go. Counter will change. Hole. Counter will to change. Hole. 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 
okay now we'll click ok now we'll add all the block groups now we'll Now we'll uh, connect this block enable to this pub out and <coughs> we'll add uh, one slice uh, through this we can uh, we can output the output the counter we can uh, basically see the outputs of counter uh, to the LEDs so we'll this counter that one bits will connect to this here and we'll change the out the out from let's say 4 say 3 down to 0 so 4 bits here it is automatically generated 4 bits with so we'll make it external So regenerate the layout. This is the total purple block diagram. Now we validate the design. Now we can see the validation has been successfully completed. Now the time has come to uh, go to the board. Uh, means uh, we have to uh, arrange the pins where uh, this uh, output will be uh, generated. For that, uh, first of all, we will uh, run the synthesis. Okay, uh, we will go to source. Then we will have to generate our products. Now, modules has been generated. We will create virtual wrapper. Wrapper has been generating. Now we will run the implementation. Okay, so okay. Now here you can see the implementation successfully completed. Now we will open the implemented design where we will uh, add the pins for LED. Now here you can see that uh, pins are there so uh, it is showing default LBC modes we will have to make them LBC modes 3.3 volt okay so then uh, the output ports so we will put by default some something has been uh, implemented there but we will change according to our uh, board and we can see this is the Z10 board this is the Z10 board Yeah, RGB LEDs are there. So we'll place these pins Y16, Y17. Save it. Create new file. File name will be given. That is file. A. 
now after setting the LED pins now we will go to generation of bitstream we will click there so it will so here it is showing the cloth design this is uh, design is out of date because we have changed the values we close the design and now synthesis of design is going on now we will open the hardware manager open the auto connect now we will uh, go to the simulation viewable simulation settings we will select this viewable simulator very long ILA this is the ILA block table wrapper we will apply it and make it ok now we will click and run VAVL simulation Now here we will see here this is a PIO, this is the ILA. So we will add two wave window. Now we will see here it has been added in the clock. Now as uh, we can see that our this clock is in hybrid state and the output is zero. So we will clock port clock we will give it leading value this positive edge 1 negative edge will provide 0 and it is 15 and 50 percent to cycle 100 nm second of period we will click ok then we will use the timeline for 1 second we will run it See the so the values are coming. So we'll just expand it. Now we'll see data are coming. Now we will 